Brahmos, the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile, feared across borders, relied on by India's armed forces. But what powers its precision and blistering speed? Titanium, a rare strategic material once controlled by only five nations – Russia, China, the United States, France and the United Kingdom. Now India joins that exclusive club and at the heart of this transformation, a company from Lucknow. PTC Industries has begun manufacturing titanium and super alloys on Indian soil, materials that are no longer needed to be imported, but now made in India. For India's missiles, fighter jets, submarines and warships. In this special interview with Asianet News English, Alok Agarwal, Director Technical and Quality of PTC Industries, sheds light on how India is breaking free from foreign blackmail, building critical capabilities at home and setting its sights on global defence exports. Talking about its significance, how it is useful in See, the scenario. Titanium is much lighter than steel and the strength is almost double. So if you look at the strength to weight ratio, it is very, very high. So what happens normally when anything is to be used for aerospace or defense, which has to go in the air or under the sea, they need lighter materials to accommodate more of its numbers. So this is the best material for aerospace and underwater requirements. So Indian defense or the global defense use titanium a lot for these purposes. So it is very, very important and it can withstand very high temperatures also. So all the super jets which are being used at very high speeds, uh, hypersonic missiles, all these have got exhaust which are at very, very high temperature. To be able to take that temperature, we need materials made out of super alloys. Sir, uh, we have heard that uh, Brahmos is using this chemical component. So, how are you contributing to the Brahmos? See, Brahmos, whatever critical materials in titanium and super alloys they are using, so they were all importing from outside. So, we have converted most of the parts locally now indigenously and we are supplying them. So, if we talk about the quantity, how much we, we were uh, importing from the foreign countries? See, I have no idea about that, but I what uh, I know is about to more than 2000 tons of uh, titanium metal and super alloys is being imported in country from outside. So your company, what's the capacity to produce? So currently, we are in a capacity that we can make about almost 6,000 to 7,000 tons every year. So PM Modi has always been talking about the uh, make for world uh, apart from make in India. So is there any plan for your company? Oh yes, very much. We in fact are looking at the global market and the global place. So all big players in the aerospace sector like Safran or Dassault or Honeywell or BAE Systems, they have been in touch with us, we are developing parts for them and we have got long-term agreements with them for supply of components for a very long period. So you were talking about Russia and China, what was going on in the global scenario? See, what I was talking about is this, these materials are required by Europeans and US market, but now they want or prefer getting this material non-China, non-Russia. So that opens a lot of gate or opportunity for the Indian suppliers and manufacturers. So we happen to be one of them. So we are also trying to see what all we can do to supply them at the earliest. Sir, is it also useful in India's uh, uh, project to uh, make uh, engines in India? Of course, yes. A lot of Indian uh, players like HAL and GTRE are working very hard to develop indigenously the engine and other aerospace parts. And we are trying to cooperate with them, help them and see what we can do for them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.